Live long and prosper. Who says that? Spock. And what's cool about Spock? He's logical. And that is what we will be testing in this Excel challenge. You're going to get four questions on logical functions within Excel. As always, you can download the workbook using the link in the description. And once you've got it up and you're ready to rumble, then let's get to it. All right. For question number one, your task is to write two different formulas that return a final value of false, and you must use at least one function in each formula. So starting with formula one, let's use the AND function. The AND function tests multiple conditions or values and returns true only if all of the values or conditions evaluate to true. So, with that in mind, select cell D5 and enter the following formula. Equals AND function, select the range B5 through B9, and press ENTER. The AND function finds at least one false value among the values in B5 through B9, and so it returns the final value of false, which is what you want. Now for the second formula. For this one, Let's use the OR function along with the NOT function. The OR function tests multiple conditions or values and returns true only if at least one of those values or conditions evaluates to true. And the NOT function tests one value or condition and returns the opposite of what that value or condition evaluates to. So the NOT function will turn true into false and false into true. With that in mind, select cell F5 and enter the following formula. Equals NOT function OR function Select the range B5 through B9 Close parentheses twice and press ENTER. The OR function finds at least one true value and so it returns true. And then the NOT function takes the true value and transforms it into a false value. And that completes question number one. Let's move on to question number two. For question two, your goal is to calculate the maximum if maximum is selected in cell F4. Otherwise, you calculate the minimum. Now anytime you are faced with an if this do that scenario, you want to use the if function. So in cell F6, enter the following formula. Equals if function, then select F4, and then equals, and then type in maximum in quotes, comma, max function, then select the total sales numbers, and close parentheses. Then add a comma, min function, Select the total sales numbers, close parentheses twice, and then press enter. Now the if function checks to see if maximum is the selected value in cell F4. And if it is, then the if function executes the second argument, which contains the max function to calculate the maximum. However, if the value in cell F4 is not maximum, then the if function executes the third argument, which uses the min function to calculate the minimum. How awesome is that? Well, that completes question two, so let's move on to question three. For question three, your task is to add a function to the formula in cell F6 to get rid of the error and return the value of not found. To solve this question, I recommend wrapping the current formula within the if na function. This function checks for the na error and returns a specific value if this error is encountered. And so, selecting cell F6, add the if na function before the vlookup function, and then add a comma at the end, type in the desired value, and then add a closing parentheses. Now, once you press enter, you can see that the if na function catches the na error generated by the vlookup function and then returns the value not found instead. Awesome. That completes question three, so let's move on to question four. 
For your final question, you must write a formula to automatically calculate the selected metric in cell F4. You must also return 0 if no metric is selected. So to solve this question, I recommend using the IFS function. This function allows you to run multiple tests and then execute an action depending on which test is true. And so, we will test to see which metric in F4 is selected, and then execute the proper calculation to get the final result. I also suspect that this formula is going to be quite long. So let's go ahead and expand the formula bar by clicking here and dragging down. Now, go ahead and select cell F6 and enter the following formula. Equals ifs function select F4, equals, select H5, comma, average function, select the sales numbers, close parentheses, and add a comma. Now at this point, I recommend pressing Alt-Enter to add a new line to the formula. This will make your formula much easier to read. And after you've added a new line, Select cell F4, and then enter equals H6, comma, count function, select the sales numbers, close parentheses, and add a comma. Now insert a new line using Alt Enter, and then F4 equals H7, comma, max function, select the sales numbers, close parentheses, comma, use alt enter to insert a new line, and then F4 equals H8, comma, min function, select the sales numbers, close parentheses, comma, insert a new line, F4 equals H9, comma, sum function, then select the sales numbers, close parentheses, comma, insert a new line, then type in a 1, comma, 0, close parentheses, and enter. Your formula is now complete. And if you change the metric in cell F4, you get back the proper calculation in cell F6. Plus, if no metric is selected, the ifs function will look to the second to last argument, which is a 1, and a 1 automatically evaluates to true. And so, you get the final result of 0 just as the question asks. And that officially completes question 4 and your ninth Spreadsheet Life Excel Challenge.